I'm about to present you the greatest army comp in the history of army comps. What is it, you ask? Well, it's an entire army of Club Levy. That's right, guys. 19 units of Club Levy and the General, which is like a sword master. That's it. That's the greatest army comp you can bring in Rome 2 Total War. And I will explain why right after this sponsorship by Displate. Do you have a bare, disgusting wall that needs some beauty? Well, thanks to Displate's posters, you can change that. Oh, did I mention that these are metal posters? Yeah, that's right. No more rips, wrinkles, or holes. These are well-made posters that are super easy to install. Simply clean the wall, add a protective leaf, stick the magnet on, and hang your Displate poster. No need for hammers and nails. Displate has a huge catalog of beautiful artwork ranging from gorgeous landscapes historical images, city maps, video games, and so much more. But my personal favorite is the Kingdom Come Deliverance Collection. We all know that Kingdom Come is one of the most beautiful games ever created, and now you can have that beauty on your very own walls. If you look in the video description, there is a link that will take you to my personal collection of my favorite posters. And even better yet, there is a personal discount code just for my viewers, Simply use pixelated15 at checkout. So fix that bare, disgusting wall and get yourself a beautiful displate metal poster. So what makes the club levy actually really good? I know it started off as a bit of a meme, like, oh, just bring all club levy and see how it goes. It, it actually is really, really good. And the reason it is, is because, well, one, they're very cheap. And they're actually not terrible for their price. I mean, yes, relatively speaking, they're a total crap unit one-on-one -on -one against most units, but if you get all of them, right, their, their strength is in numbers. You get all of them, you upgrade them as much as possible. Uh, a lot of these uh, units have like three silver chevrons, a couple of them have some gold chevrons. They're actually not terrible. And I know I don't have any archers in this army, but all of these uh, Club Levy units are capable of Javis. Uh, so they do have a bit of a skirmi uh, a skirmi <laughs> a skirmishing capability. And another weakness they have is that they have no armor or light armor. And archers can really, you know, bring them down. But here's the thing. There's so many of them. There's usually not enough ammo to deal with all the Club Levy. Uh, so that is their str their strength is in numbers and the ability to skirmish and you're gonna see in today's battle replay Just how deadly an entire army of club levy can be now I do want to say this there's a little bit of an asterisk next to the strategy best for defending do not Three two one now. I do want to point this out. This is a defending army strategy I don't think the entire club are you know the club levy full army strategy would work on the you know on the attack but on defense it's actually quite solid and could potentially potentially win you some games. Uh, so let's dive into this battle really quick. And let me show you who's playing and what the armies are. So of course I'm Swaby. Swaby. It doesn't matter. They should just be called Club Levy. I'm Club Levy, and I'm taking on uh, Egypt over here. My ally RDI. Uh, he's got some guerrilla troops here. He's gonna sally out and kind of help me out here. Uh, so he's also defending against Syracuse. And then we have. Epirus taking on Sparta. So those are the factions. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into this one because it is a fairly long battle. So uh, let's just get this one started. So right away, the strategy here was to slow down the push by Athens. Um, and um, he's going to go ahead and charge in some uh, raiders. And he's uh, actually, these are all raiders. And the thing about guerrilla troops is they're usually not that good. But if you sometimes can get them by surprise, you know, charge your opponent by surprise with some cheap units, you can actually do a lot of damage. And the strategy into this one is to clump up Athens as much as possible. I don't. I hope I didn't call these guys Egypt early on. If I did, I apologize. I always confuse Athens and Egypt. They look very similar at quick glance. Anyways, uh, I'm now using my catapult here, my trebuchet or ballista, uh, to fire down at the clumping of the troops uh, to try to support my allies ambush 
and that was really the whole strategy into this initial part of the, the siege, right? Is to push up some cheap guerrilla troops, hold and delay Athens a little bit, and hopefully they're so clumped up that it's going to be easy pickings for my artillery. So, yeah, we're, we're just hitting them hard right now. He's sending in some Thorax Swordsmen. You can see, ooh. And he's exhausting a some of his ammo as well, so that's good. And there goes a the little counter charge. And here comes my artillery. I am terrible with the artillery. I am, at this point, I am firing it myself. Uh, and I'm just missing like crazy. I This is something I don't do all the time, so uh, I got to get better at that. But, yeah, see, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm just completely missing these troops in the back here. So that was hilarious. Here we go. Here comes a little flanking force of Thorax Swords. Oh! We do hit them a little bit with the Rocks of Justice. The balls, fiery balls of justice. It's a nice little flanking maneuver, but he's actually doing a really good job with these Raiders. There goes another hit there. Uh, and then I see some pikes in the back. I'm like, alright, I gotta go for the pikes. You know, my club levy are going to struggle against pikes, so that's one target unit I need to focus down. And here we go. Now they're going to change targets. I over fire. I hit the archers instead and kill some of the general, I think. Yeah, so not a terrible miss there. And now the archers are opening fire. This is actually pretty good, the fact that they're opening fire. And there goes another artillery piece. Just, they're like, ah, come on. Come on. Uh, no, not gonna have right on his toe. He's like ow. Oh, but the next one hits so There we go. We're starting to soften up those pikemen. We got a general in the back line He's using his cab to do some hammer and anvil and this uh, looks like it's gonna be the beginning of the end of this uh, Initial vanguard push there goes another hit there. Uh, I don't really care about getting friendly fire again These troops are throwaway units uh, and they're doing a good job. I mean the kills here 28 not bad um my artillery is not doing amazing, but I do have, I think it has decent kills. Let's see. 70 kills. 70 kills. Oh. Oh, my God. That was a great hit right there. And Athens is uh, taking some casualties there. Um, the pikemen are still fairly strong. We only killed about six of them, uh, which is going to be a problem. But there you have it, guys. That is going to be the end of this initial sally out. Um, we have the general still kind of running around doing damage. I'm going to try to focus down the general. I'm going to snipe out the general. Uh, that is, you know, no mercy kind of strategy. Uh, but actually, it might be out of ammo now. Let's see, they're not firing. They're not reloading. So I think this is out of ammo. Uh, I got 104 kills. 104 kills plus all the kills that these raiders got. Some of these guys got 100. 108, 103, uh, 79. So if you count up all the kills, that was completely worth it with this little sally out. And um, that's pretty much going to wrap up this sally out and uh, it's going to make it come to a close. Um, we do have Syracuse already pushing up some of their troops. They got some Thorax Swordsmen. Uh, RDI is going to go ahead and kind of do a bend but don't break strategy of kind of giving them some ground. And he's going to hold... Uh, strategic choke points uh, now the reason he's doing that probably is because we have a lot of tortoises moving up um, and th that kind of says hey you know they're probably not going to use the tower or the walls for their archers too much because they do have so so many tortoises and they and it's smart for Syracuse to do that because being a Greek faction um, they rely a lot on like pikes and hoplites and you want a nice big open area to do that. Hoplites suck on the walls, that is for sure. That's why it's always good if you're playing a siege battle and you're playing Greek, try to bring somebody that can bring Thor Thorax Swordsmen, which most factions can. There goes the walls over there. So while that's going on, um, we have Sparta who is slowly pushing up siege towers. And uh, they've got a couple Spartan youths here kind of leading the way and taking these walls. Very young and naive men going in first. Um, now, we do have some mercenary Samnite warriors going after them. Um, but uh, I guess they're just going to kind of let them, let them have this area. But yeah, the rest of the Spartan force is now moving up. 
And Epirus is doing the same thing, kind of doing a bend but don't break strategies, holding this main center line. And this area is a tough area to attack because you only really have two areas. You, you can push here, two areas, excuse me, or you can push here. And then you've got to get through here to be able to go around here and hit more angles. So uh, it is a very challenging position to assault. At the same time, Athens is moving up their siege towers uh, with their... Uh, depleted some of their depleted troops. These guys are all in check. The, these guys are fully strength 160 here We got 61 militia hoplites 134 with these hoplites uh, 93 uh, We got the general who's at I mean he lost some he's he lost uh, nine guys That's that's a considerable amount. He did charge uh, a leftover unit that returned from routing I think they were able to throw off some javis, but that's about it. But yeah, Athens still trying to get over here. And my great uh, defense is about to begin. Over here, Syracuse is kind of taking a uh, passive approach. He knocked down the walls. I guess he's trying to use his javis here a little bit because RDI is using the hoplites to hold this position. And it, most of these shots are completely missing. You see that? It went. Most of them went into the dirt or over the dirt, which is too high to hit these hoplites. And this is a really good position. Uh, of the RDI player which was Charlie 6 Zulu so yeah we're still waiting for Athens I'm gonna go ahead and actually just fast forward here because this is such a long replay oh boy oh boy so he's repositioning here a little bit I had me a little concerned I thought he was gonna go all the way around this way uh, but he actually doesn't do that he's just he's just shifting over a little bit uh, we've got the tortoises now moving up. Why is this so laggy? You know, I wish I could fast forward through games without it being super laggy. It's probably better to just do normal speed. Uh, but finally, the uh, tortoises are moving up. Uh, Sparta has their tortoises moving up. They also have the Spartan youths pushing up more uh, equipment. Um, and over here, Syracuse is moving their siege towers. It looks like they're about to take some of the walls on the flank. And hopefully pretty soon they start pushing into the enemy's uh, defenses and they've got the thorough spears but I'm pretty sure they used up all their ammo and look they have zero kill oh no there they go what are you doing with the spears man it's not gonna hit anybody let's see if he actually throws it let's see mm, still nothing yet no no he's gonna move up oh, oh no well, some of it actually went through the dirt and killed a guy. But still, you killed one guy. So they are able to, to throw throw past the dirt a little bit, but it's still not, like, super effective. I, I just think this is a waste of ammo. Should just charge in infantry. The fighting on the walls is still going on here. Thorax Swordsman are losing decisively against these hoplites. I think it's because the arrow tower support definitely helping them there. And here we go. Here we go, guys. Uh, the tortoises are now attacking, and this is where I start forming up my positions. I also put down a bunch of traps, uh, cow traps or cow, whatever they're called. Uh, this is good anti-cav, because that is another weakness of my units. Cav getting off some good charges could be a disaster. And I'm also moving up some troops over to this wall to help defend um, this stairway. So he's got his siege tower. My guys, unfortunately, are using their ammo on the siege tower. Uh, There's a waste of ammo right there big mistake on my end over here. I'm ready to defend the gates and uh, They knocked down a little breach point over here. They got one down over here So that's a total of two breach points and they're about to make it a third moving up this other tortoise Now the good news is he's sitting back and the longer he sits back the more troops he 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 loses because of the archer towers Not because of my archers because well, I don't have archers. Oh here comes another tortoise so they might have another breach point coming in here. So Club Levy, get ready. I've got all my reserves back here. I will slowly move them up whenever I need them. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of hugging onto these walls and trying to cover my guys. I don't know if they're still hidden. No, at this point, they're not hidden. This unit in the back is, but that means he can target them with the archers, but it's still going to be difficult because of these great, big, beautiful walls. 
So still nothing yet. I think he's just waiting for every single breach point to be open before he charges in. He's trying to spread out my defenses. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and shift over a couple units to prepare for this breach point. And the archers are moving up. And he's got normal archers. He's got the mercenary Cretan archers. Three of them. And um, that's a pretty cool shot right here. That's really cool. Um, and he's going to start opening fire on my guys. And it's going to suck. It is. My guys have their shields up, but I don't think most of the shots are hitting. Yeah, see, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze my units onto this wall. Not not completely, like, right next to it. There we go. Another breach has been taken down. The club levy are ready for this, boys. Let's see if he starts pushing in some infantry. The other breach point is open. Again, shifting units around, getting them ready for a, um, a flanking defense. So what I'm going to do is let them charge in a little bit. And then, oh, there we go. There we go. There's the first charge. And the club levy go in. The club levy go in. And I just surround this Thorax Swordsman unit. You see that? So that's the strategy. He's going to push in, right, like that. And now I'm going to hit him from two sides. And then maybe have a third unit go in that way. And already, already, his Thorax Swordsmen are breaking. I uh, break the Thorax. I'm going to not pursue, fall back, reposition. I lost uh, two from each. I lost a total of four men. Four men in that defense. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. Okay, so Thorax Swordsmen still holding this tower over here. Not sure what they're doing. It's almost like set aflame. It's at fire damage 75%. So he probably wants to do something with that tower or get off the tower. Uh, and this is where the next big push comes up. Here we go. And look at the Javis. Javis going at it. You see that? Javis are going at it. And they're going to hit him from the other side. So he decided to commit to one side. And he turns his back to my other unit. Now the archer fire is coming in. Yeah, it's going to sting. It's going to sting. I lose a lot of men in that volley. But I have so many men. Here comes another charge of Thorax Swordsman. And this is where I realize, all right, I need to start committing more troops to this fight. Because he's really focusing, to, uh, focusing down my men. And look how quickly my troops died to the Archer Fire. It's insane. But here we go. Here comes some reinforcements coming in. And they're trying to counter that counter charge. I'm going to pursue them. And they push up another unit. So it's getting a little messy here in terms of front lines. It's getting a little mosh pity. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just keep throwing men in because I can. He is opening fire on my units in close combat with his. So he does risk friendly fire, which is good. Um, back over this way, one of his towers went aflame. He was not able to push it up. I don't know why he held back for so long. This one is almost at 100% uh, fire damage. So that's going to start taking damage. Um, and, uh, yeah, and look at this, already breaking another Thorax so uh, Swordsman unit. And I think because we are in close combat, he's decided to hold his Archer Fire. And I see that he's shifting over more units, even his General. I think he's doing some General abilities, possibly. But I'm going to start shifting over more Club Levy. More and more Club Levy. So I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to recontrol this situation, I'm trying to push him back a little bit, uh, make it so my club levy are back in control. Archer fire coming down again on my units, just missing. You see that? Holy crap! A lot of those arrows just missing. I do lose lose three men there, but uh, I'm trying to quickly get them to go around this flank and hit the side of the Storax uh, unit. Let's see. I wouldn't stand there. There we go. Yeah, push up a little closer to the wall. Make it harder for the archers to hit my men. I mean, yes, I have a lot of club levy. That doesn't mean I should not try to protect them uh, from archer fire. But here we go. I'm just going to go for a charge here. I guess I decide not to use any jabbies. And now we've got this unit hit from multiple sides. And we've got them pushed back over to the rubble of this breach point. And he's committing a lot over here. On the other sides of the battlefield, nothing. It looks like he's not even going to try to go for it. Instead, he's going to go for one location. So, really quick, let's look elsewhere. 
Um, Sparta's kind of taking this position, not any fighting. Sparta and Epirus definitely taking it slow. Over on this side, uh, the fighting has commenced over here uh, with the Thorax Swordsman going against these Hoplites. So overall, like the fighting in the other positions are pretty calm compared to mine. Mine's a full out grind. And uh, so yeah, we're still holding here with these, uh, these units. I pushed up a unit and look at, see that? Now I'm using their skirmishing capability. Uh, they've got their units up on this hill. They're easy pickings. It's easy to hit these guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and use up all my ammo uh, with these javies and then I'll push them up. These hoplites are taking a lot of losses. A lot of losses. Hey, but I am losing a lot of troops here, so that's one thing to uh, take note on. Uh, and my reinforcements are starting to run out. Uh, of course, I've got a lot of men over here I could shift over, but I still need to leave them here just in case. They did push a unit of Thorax Swordsmen to this flank here, this little breach point. But again, have them surrounded. Same tactic I did earlier, and uh, he's getting chewed up. And he's falling back, actually, but as he falls back, he's taking a, uh, a decent amount of casualties. And yeah, I'm still going to town here. Look at this. Still just They have a good amount of ammo, so you can really sit here and... Um, and use it all up and that's the thing is like as soon as they run out of ammo I'll shift in another unit that has ammo and keep the unit that used up all their ammo in reserve as just an infantry unit so club levy to the max man club levy so holding on this side of the breach point and there we go I'm out of ammo Arrows are coming down. That's definitely going to soften up my guys. Uh, but all I can really do is just keep fighting, keep standing. Uh, I'm starting to shift over more units. You see this? Shift over more units to help out. The unit that's out of ammo, I'm going to shift over to the center. And I'm probably going to reinforce the center. I didn't want to charge this area too much because it will leave it open for more, more uh, javy fire. General going in for a charge. Look at perfect timing. These two units start wavering. I'm going to send in reinforcements. And there we go, more Javis coming in. And look, at he's pushing. That means more units are going to be out in the open for these Javis. Come on, keep throwing. Keep throwing, boys. Excellent. And we are melting the flank of this unit. My troops are struggling in close combat, but they're doing alright. More Archer Fire coming in, but that's okay. I got more units. I got more units, I got plenty. Here comes uh, more Club Levy. Again, trying to use the units that used up all their ammo as the main front line because I wanna use the full ability of every unit. So that includes their ammo and melee. Over here, he's pushing over on this side again. So I'm gonna hit him from three different, three different ways. Got this unit sitting back in reserve. And another unit. So he decided to quickly push a bunch of units over to this flank. But I got it well under control. I still have three healthy units over here. One, two, three, four units moving in. I still have this one up on top of this wall. And we start looking at the kills here. This is 79 kills. 48 kills. 54 kills. So it's not like a ton of kills. But because I have so many of them, um, you know, 50 kills for each unit is a lot of kills. Anyways, here comes um, here comes some pikemen. This is where things get scary because that is a big weakness my units have is, is fighting against pikemen. But let's not forget the flank that I control. Now the general is trying to pour in. Look, he's just using brute force to try to break in here. So I need to get more men over to that side. This is no longer that important because it's just Thorax Swordsmen. We've got them surrounded. These pikemen are what's important because they can slice through my army. So I need to get in positions where I can javy the hell out of them. This is actually a good spot because I'm in some palm trees which will give me some cover against the arrow fire. So I don't think I have any javies with this unit. Again, I'm getting melted by arrows. Doesn't matter. I have so many troops. And the pikemen are actually if like spearhead through my lines. You see this? So 
We need to try to skirmish them down. There we go. More. J oh my God! Did you see that? Oh, huge javy toss right there. Look at my 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 ranks. Look at them. It's just a floodgate. They're just pushing through. That's awesome. That is awesome. The pikemen already have 80 kills. And I'm going to hit them on the flank here. I saw that they pushed in too far. So that, is a, that was a good push right there. Always go for the flank of pikemen. But this isn't good. I only have two units over here protecting. And this is kind of where I panic and I start pushing up more and more units. My general is hanging back. We uh, held over on this side, so these units are going to be free up, or freed up, freed up. <laughs> They're going to be free to move over here and help defend. Because at this point, I think he's fully committing. And look, here comes the general, and look, he's going to run for the traps. Uh, kind of. He almost does it. I don't know if it was my traps that was preventing him from being able to flank around me, but I'm pretty sure that was the case. So the the traps do help there a little bit, even though if they don't kill anyone. They still prevented him from flanking and hitting the rear of my army. All right, more pikemen. Look at this, pikemen out in the open. Their flank is exposed. And I've got javies. I do get some friendly fire there, but that's okay. Oh, baby. These pikemen are getting shredded. So he's kind of taking control of this flank. He's able to push in troops without any kind of resistance on this little this little pathway that the pikemen are holding. So I'm going to go into a column formation, try to get through this and hit the rear of these pikes. But the general is in the back lines causing some issues and we actually have the RDI general moving in. So he's coming in to help out deal with the Athenian general. Nice little hammer and anvil. That's really good tactic there on my flanking unit. The pikemen are trying to reposition and get out of there. So is this two units of pikemen now? Yeah, he's got the two units of pikemen, which was the rules. Max two pikemen. And boom, here we go. Once again, throwing javies at the pikes. That's my main, that's my high threat unit. I think I used up all my ammo with this unit, so I'm going to charge them in. We've got these pikes kind of hit, getting hit on the side there. And now we've got some Lancers going for the back line. I fall back behind the traps. Look at this. Yes. Okay, the traps don't kill a ton, but they do kill a decent amount. And that's why I fell back there. And to have them run through that is awesome. Because he's down to 48 men now. And he dies retreating back out of there. Units, uh, bodyguard die from there. Got some club levy uh, breaking. This is unfortunate. It's a huge amount of club levy. Really got to make sure your club levy don't get flanked because they will break almost instantly because their morale is only 42. And that's with the chevrons. So more skirmishing fire coming in. We're starting to win this battle against the infantry and the pikemen are starting to break. I got infantry going in after the general. Club levy. What a shocker. And there you go. And uh, let's really quick go over to the other side. The fight's still going on here. It does look like there's some breakage going on here with RDI, though. Thorax Swordsman doing a good job. The fighting kind of slows down over here. A little bit of a, a calm before the storm. Over on this side, um, we do have... Okay, finally. We, we've got some fighting between Sparta and Epirus. Just give you a little uh, update on what's going on. Over here, nothing though. So Sparta's just going full force because this is just such a hard position to attack. There we go. Here's my last three reserves of Club Levy going in. We got the general surrounded. He's down to 14 bodyguard. Uh, I actually sallied out. This is cool. So I, I used this opening. I sallied, sallied out a couple units of infantry to go after his archers. At this point, he was out of ammo. So it's not that big of a deal. You know, it wasn't like this pro strat. I just took out archers that had half their ammo. and No, they were out of ammo because they didn't have enough to kill all of my men. Uh, I shouldn't have used my volley there with jabbies because you better to use it on more expensive units rather than mercenary Cretan archers who don't have any ammo. Uh, but I'm going to quickly try to break through these guys. Um, and that's going to be the last of Athens. That's going to be it for the Athenians. 
And I still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 units left. And a lot of them still have ammo with the jabbies. And there you have it, guys. <laughs> Athens is gone. The club levy, just the swarm. I like to call it the swarm because they're like a swarm of bees. And their stingers are their jabbies. And it's deadly. Um... And, and the attackers are allergic. Very allergic. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to now quickly rush over and help my ally. Uh, because the reason I went for RDI instead of Epris, two things. One, he's closer, so I can get there faster. Two, um, this fight against Sparta is going so slow compared to this other battle that I, I felt like Epris can hold. He can hold for a very long time, and it's not going to be, you know, too bad. Like, he, he should be able to hold until we hopefully quickly get over here to Syracuse and finish him. Uh, and then we can all focus on um, Athens or uh, Sparta. But, uh, yeah, they're pushing in pretty hard. And you can see RDI is... Now, remember, and another reason I'm helping him out is because he had the guerrilla troops, the vanguard troops... That sallied out and did a lot of damage. So I wanted to return the favor and help out his battle. So I've got... Uh, i start shifting over my three healthy units of Club Levy. These guys don't have a lot of kills because they didn't see a lot of action. Uh, let's look at some of the kills of these units. Uh, 132. 95. Uh, 89. 92. 127. 223 kills with Club Levy. Holy, holy Jesus. That is insane. Uh, but yeah, he actually has a unit. Look at the Syracuse that flanked around some pikemen. Um, it's getting pretty tough. He's, he's, uh, he's starting to run out of troops here. So I need to quickly get over here and reinforce this front line. And he's even shifting over some RDI troops that were holding over on this side. But I'm going to focus down the pikemen. I tell them to stop charging. I want them to use their jabbies. They're not doing it. I don't know why. Come on. Got another unit moving up. Just going to... I'm going to blast them. Blast them with jabbies. Boom. He's already lo he lost four guys right there. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. There we go. Come on. Sometimes the Javis are a little difficult. They're a little difficult for them to get out. There we go. They're starting spitting them out. Down to 85. Oh, there we go. That's put them down to 71. You see how quickly they're losing men? That's the that's how you beat pikes, guys. You just don't engage them. Hit them with skirmishers. Hit them with Javis. I'm going to shift the unit around a little bit. There's a little bit of an underbelly here, a soft spot that I'm going to go for. And look at He's breaking. Arrow fire coming in. Don't matter. As soon as you kill one, I'll just replace them. I see a little gap over here, kind of. They look weak. Oh. I'm like, all right, that should be enough. They're down to 30. They were breaking earlier. We kind of have to deal with them quickly because, uh, you know, other parts of the defense is starting to soften up. I got a unit of reserve over here using their skirmishing capability, helping these noble fighters from afar. The club levy, man. You do not mess with the club levy. The pikemen are breaking. He does a little bit of a counter charge with some Sam Knight warriors on the flank of my club levy. Do I really need to say the flank of my club levy? Should I just say the flank of my troops? Because it's all just club levy. Throw spears trying to hold against my troops. <laughs> a small unit. I think they're up on the walls. There we go. We're pushing in. We are pushing in. Um, yeah. So that's going pretty well. That's going very well. Over here, things have kind of died down between Epirus and Sparta. So it's just, this is it. This is all that's going on. We got Thorough Spears holding against Spartan youth. So it's a very slow grind over there, which is perfect because we need more time. Here we go. There's a little bit of a gap here. I'm pushing through all kinds of gaps and soft spots, underbellies. Going for it. Nice little flank on these Sam Knight Warriors. Yep, 
Yeah, and now we've got this uh, situation under control again. Um, Syracuse still has some some units that are still a threat to us. He's moving up some... Looks like hoplites? No, slingers. He's moving up slingers up here, which is not a bad idea. But we could easily just go up there and face them. So there we go. I charge in my club levy. These guys are out of ammo. And at this point of the battle, I'm starting to run low on ammo. I think I'm starting to run out of javies. Um, yeah. And I noticed that there was a general out here. Unfortunately, they killed one of my club levy. I think this unit broke and recovered. So they were wavering. They recovered and he went to go kill him. They had some ammo left. I tried to throw the javies into this unit as they were charging me but unfortunately I was not able to do any damage and they still have a full full unit there ready to go oh no the slinger is actually sallying out from this this wall so they must be out of ammo that's fine that's fine so I got some troops up here on the wall I have some uh, javies left with this unit but they're not firing I wanted to come up here and fire down at this force in the center. Let's see if I can get them a little bit closer. They just can't get close enough. Yeah, see, they're not throwing their javies. And I know that's why I put them up there, because they do have some ammo left over. Um, I, you know, I still have some ammo, but um, a lot of it is exhausted. A lot of it is empty. A lot of units don't have it. Got another unit of club lever ready to go in. Just trying to help out against these throw spears. Is that pikeman I see over here? Oh, it's a... Yeah, pikeman, 88 men. So that's going to be an issue. General once again moving around this way. Very curious. Very curious. There we go. The throw spears are breaking. And I'm now sending my general. The reason I commit my general over here is, is because he actually has some ammo. So like, all right, well, those pikemen that Syracuse has could be a big problem and could kill a lot of my men. So I'm gonna try to get my general involved here, and I'm, well, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try to put him up on this wall and fire down. But yeah, the pikes are a big problem. And that's why I'm kind of send uh, sitting back here with some units. Because I don't want to just charge the pikes. And I wonder, does anybody have... There are some archers back here, but do they have ammo? Yes. We have some slave slingers. They do have ammo. I think they were firing at this unit that's that was charging up here. But he should probably move these slingers and attack the, uh, the pikemen. Uh-oh. Am I charging in another unit? Ooh, that's crazy. Maybe at the time I didn't realize pikemen were over there. Or I'm just trying to keep them in position because I'm trying to get my general up on this wall. And here comes the uh, the general. Look at this. And is he going to run into my traps? No, he doesn't. So he's trying to get to the back line. Not a bad idea. It's a risky move. With, oh, he is. Oh, he does run through with my traps a little bit. And he loses three bodyguard. But he's going to dodge most of them. And he's he's lost four bodyguard now. Thanks to the uh, traps in the arrow towers. But yeah, it looks like he, he's going to try to go around and deal with either us or Epirus. Epirus is going to go ahead and send in his uh, bodyguard to, to meet the enemy bodyguard. Now, the good thing about the uh, Royal Cav here is that they outnumber these Lancers. It's going to be a tough fight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pretty soon start sending sending my depleted club levy over to Epirus to help him out over there. Because if we kill that general, his men are going to break. Which, which, by the way, what happened to the pikemen? <laughs> I think they got... Sl they were shot down by the slingers maybe i don't know the slingers are over here maybe they just broke dang it i kind of wanted to see what was going to happen with those pikemen but uh, i think they just broke 
And in my general, I had some pathfinding issues. It takes them forever to get, get up on this wall. It's almost like not even worth it at this point because uh, there's only a small unit here. Completed unit. Let's go back over here. This fight's going to go on for a while, this little general v. general battle. Epirus is down to 64. Syracuse down to 56. So quite the difference in numbers. It's looking pretty good as long as the general stays alive for Epirus. Uh, on this side, Sparta is definitely being the tortoise right now, slow and steady. Uh, and he really should be pressing the attack, but I think he went AFK for a little bit, which helps us out even more, buys us even more time to deal with these, uh, these forces. And there goes Syracuse. And my plan here is to push out of this breach point once we break these Samnite warriors. And then I was going to push around this way and hit the rear of these troops. I go ahead and get my general off the wall because there's no point for that. And there you have it. Here comes the rear push. This unit has 112 kills. Probably going to get a lot more here since we're killing the rear of some archers. 113. 14. 15. 16, 17. Beautiful. So that's going to clear up that flank, and that's going to be the end of Syracuse. So, Club Levy, pretty good, huh? And look at the generals are still fighting. Now we've got a pikeman unit from Epirus coming in to help. Um, I finally send over my Club Levy to go help the uh, general. I just assumed that the Syracuse general would die very quickly, and there's no reason to send my Club Levy right away. But the fact that he's still putting up a fight, the fact that he still has 43 bodyguard... Uh, is really impressive. So I was like, all right, maybe I should send some Club Levy over there to help deal with that. And there we go. The last unit of Syracuse, ex excluding his general, is breaking. And now my Club Levy. At this point, pretty weak. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I lost one unit. I had, I think, 11 going into the battle against Syracuse. But once it's over, I lost one. But a lot of these units are very depleted now. But that's okay, because I can flanky-panky. I'm now going to just be a support army, like I was against Syracuse helping RDI. The general breaks here, because the pikemen are just slaughtering them. I'm going to charge the other side, make sure this general doesn't get away, and that's the last of Syracuse. So now it's just down to Athens. Can, can Athens still win this battle? Sure, he certainly can, but it's going to be very challenging. And uh, it, it, there is a little bit of a slow point in this battle. So I'm just going to skip ahead, guys, uh, and get it to where Sparta starts committing all of his forces. All right. So Sparta has finally committed some of their hoplites. Um, they've also committed some units over to this flank. They've broken through Epirus here a little bit. And they're going to start their push over into this uh, wall or street, uh, which has two attack points they need to go for. Um, and then... Sparta controls this region over here. So this is where, this is the three areas he's attacking. One here, and then one, two. Uh, our reinforcements are making their way over there. Um, my club levy are hanging out in the town center for a little bit, giving them a, a breather. Uh, we do have a couple Syracuse units who came back. Uh, I'm just going to quickly charge them out. Some slingers um, going after my troops. And I was just... I was just padding my stats at this point. I was so bloodthirsty for these like small you know, little units that are coming back. I was trying to get as many kills as possible with my units just to make the club levy look more impressive at the end of the day. Uh, now Sparta's pushing over some Spartan, uh, Spartan hoplites. And it looks like some Spartan youths. This is a really cool path. I wish there was more maps like this. Where there's like really interesting architecture and paths. I know this is like a, a big city. And usually the iconic cities have their own special like layout. Like Alexandria, Athens, Rome. But I wish more cities had stuff like this. But Sparta is really trying to find as many, um, many attack points as possible. Because that's going to be the challenge. That is going to be the challenge of this assault. Over here, Sparta's just kind of hanging back a little bit. Um, so Sparta is kind of like cornered in a way. And he's got to fight his way through it to be able to win this battle. We're going to fast forward here a little bit and see what happens here next. Um, God, you know, I wish I could fast forward without it looking like complete butt. Uh, but yeah, it's a little slow at this point of the battle. So I don't want to bore you guys. But Sparta is going to see he's pushing across this bridge here, this pier uh, that goes to... Um, the lighthouse and then we've got 
them pushing back over this position and it looks like he's about to push over there so we'll go go ahead and do normal speed again um and there you go guys um sparta does this weird push where he just instead of like pushing evenly on the two sides he just pushes on one side so that gives rdi an opportunity to flank around and this is when i start sending my my <laughs> one unit of okay i'm gonna send like two units 35 and 34 they both have over 170 kills so what i'm gonna do is try to sneak around and go around this way and hit the rear of these uh spartans and uh sparta's slowly pushing up here this is gonna be a delicate situation because he's got to watch his flank here and push the main attack this is gonna be a, a very difficult assault here very challenging these men are ready they're hungry they're eager for war eager for blood more spartans making their way up this stairway they're really dedicating a lot to try to take this uh this stairway the pikemen are gonna be killing a lot here only losing two men so far and there we go here comes the flank able to get my club levy behind these spartans the spartans are now fighting back to back they're losing morale and uh that's right the club levy almost at 200 kills 200 kills 190 and when they break, you should kill a lot of them. Come on. 200. 200. 197. Please tell me you get to 200. 200. Beautiful. And the other unit got 206. Wow. Wow. Uh, they didn't lose a single man. Oh, this unit lost a couple men. They lost two men. But, wow. Okay. So I lost two guys and killed, like, what, 40 right there? That's crazy. Good old flanking. That's why flanking is so important. So I'm trying to look at this battle. I'm, I'm trying to view where I can help out. Well, one thing I want to note. Actually, I don't do. Oh, yep. Here it is. Okay. One thing. I was like, I didn't even see my own army here. Uh, I'm doing a sneak attack. So I have four units here. And this is the healthiest units I have. I'm sending them. And they're going to be exhausted, but it's worth it. I'm going all the way around. Because I don't think Sparta would expect this. Because it's such a far distance. But I'm going all the way around to get behind Sparta as he's committing to um, Epirus. At the same time, my smaller force is going to cross this bridge where he came in at us. And I'm going to go that way and try to get behind Sparta on this flank. So that is uh, my strategy at this point in the battle. Here we go. Sparta is finally committing over to the side. The general is going in with some heroes of Sparta. These Italian swordsmen are going to have quite the uh, challenge today. Taking on heroes of Sparta, that's going to be brutal. What are you throwing at? What is this? What are you throwing Javis at? Dead bodies? Crazy. Crazy. But here we go. The troops are moving. They're flanking around the slums here. Trying to get behind. Trying to get behind Sparta. Unfortunately, the Spartans actually, because of their own pikemen, are able to push in. And now RDI is sending in slave slingers to try to hold this flank. This is looking a little worrisome. And I knew I had to move quickly here to try to put some pressure on those pikemen. And now RDI is moving up some of the rest of his hoplites, essentially, which are going to be direly, direly? <laughs> they're going to be dire? Uh, they, they're needed over here. In this part of the battle. Nice little fight. My units are almost in position, guys. I'm going to go ahead and walk them a little bit because they are winded. And at the, at the same time, I was being very urgent because I was like, I want to get there and I want to get more kills of these Spartans. We can get behind them. And look, at my units are still hidden. They're still hidden. Look how close I am to the enemy. There we go. Now they've been discovered. I'm going to go ahead and run them. I don't know if these slingers are moving up to go fight or they notice the movement of my troops. I'm not really too sure. But Sparta is taking control of this region. This could be a big situation. Like I said, Sparta can still win this battle. I mean, all I have is Club Levy. All he has to do is set up some pikemen really nicely and I could lose my entire force. Unfortunately, I'm not able to sneak, on, sneak up on any units here. So he's got some pikemen defending 
the stairs, but that's good because instead of having two pikemen, or I'm sorry, that's the only pikeman unit. Instead of having his pikemen fighting over here, he's dedicated a unit to watch my club levy. Am I going to charge in? Absolutely not. So this unit's doing literally nothing. I mean, they're defending, of course. This is cool. They're defending, but um, they're not getting any kills, and they're not being used over in this big battle. And here we go. Here we go. Sparta can now see my troops, but I don't think he sees them. They're no longer hidden. My troops are winded, but a winded club levy is still a scary club levy. And I think at this point he does finally discover my flanking force. Going after these archers, trying to rack up some kills. Easy kills. And now Sparta's pushing over some, some spears, which is perfect because it's making him peel troops away from the front line. And, uh, yeah, I move up my infantry just to make him think I was going to attack. Just so he doesn't retreat the pikemen. So I'm just trying to keep him in position. RDI is holding this flank. I've got my general over here as well. Trying to support this main front over here. Um, and there we go. I was able to squeeze by some of these uh, s swordsmen. I was trying to rush the flank. of the, And I think I just keep going. Yeah, I do. See? Uh, there's a little gap here. I squeeze by. And now I'm going for this. Yes, the Spartan general. Get them, boys. Get them. It's going to be a tough fight against those uh, Spartan heroes. Still trying to quickly break these uh, archers. And we've got a thin number of hoplites trying to hold against the uh, Epirus hoplites. He's going to go ahead and throw in his spears, but that's okay. There's another gap here I can use against him. Which I do send one unit away from the fight. And uh, just peel away. There's no reason. And I'm going to go ahead and push. And look, at he's trying to maneuver there a little bit. Which is smart. But we're going to hit the... Yep, there we go. Perfect. Hit him in the rear, cause him the break. I actually stopped pursuing there to just go finish off these spears. Try to get more kills with my club levy, of course. Try to get more kills. I'm such a greedy, uh, greedy kill stealer, I guess. Uh, it's a, it's a kill, a kill thief. Um, but yeah, again, I'm just trying to pad up the stats of these club levy. And and it's tactical, you know. Of course, it's not just like I'm just trying to get kills, but it is like I'm trying to break the unit quickly. Here comes my general. I'm gonna go ahead and commit him to the fight. I know he's not club levy. He's not as good, but. <laughs> Swordmasters are really good. I'm just going to push on the flank of these hoplites. My general has 59 kills. He's literally kind of done nothing during this whole battle. It's been all club levy. There we go. Finishing up the spears. And that is a lot of breaking from Epirus. Look at Sparta still has some... some uh, this is closer than I could ever imagine from this battle. Uh, I think we broke those Spartan... Uh, yeah, the hoplite unit. Now we're going to go around. We got a Spartan pikeman unit. We're going to flank them. I'm trying to go around the flank here. You see this? Just getting on this platform because I want to push and attack the general. But there's really no need because we break those pikemen pretty quickly. Now I'm going to push the general into the, their general. He's going to meet me. Beautiful. Over here, still nothing. Look, at, I'm still making him hold his pikemen. This is a big unit of pike. You know, it's a healthy unit, relatively speaking. The amount of time, you know, being late game, that's a full strength unit right there. Pretty much. Here is a Sparta down to 57 men. The general is getting surrounded. He's trying to regroup around his general. I've got units trying to flank around. Trying to get behind the Spartan forces. There they go. Nice little flanky panky. There goes the flanking charge. We've got Sparta surrounded. We have his general surrounded. Still going to put up a great fight being, well, Spartan. But it's looking good. The pikes have now left. Look at this. And that means I'm going to push in. 
Um, RDI is trying to keep him distracted. He's going to try to turn around. But now he's, yeah, he's surrounded. He does a little flanking charge with these hoplites, which is a good move. Like Club Levy are actually in danger in this position. But it doesn't matter at this point. Sparta is broken. That is going to be the battle, guys. And Club Levy, too strong, man. It was just cool to see the Club Levy everywhere. Like, they beat uh, Athens. They went over and fought Syracuse and then fought Sparta. Now, I do want to make it clear, guys. We weren't super tryharding in this battle because maybe I was because it was Club Levy. But um, a lot of players picked Greek factions. We wanted to go all Greek. The chat, it was, this was during a live stream, the chat wanted to see Club Levy. So I went Club Levy. I, f I feel like they, I wouldn't have done as well if they went with factions that were really good at attacking, like Syracuse, Rome, Kush. I mean, Kush, actually, I would do pretty well against because they don't do well against light-armored armies. But anyways, uh, 2,688 kills. Getting the most kills out of anyone in the game. There's some close seconds here, though poopy man Athens the guy I was facing got a lot of kills because well he was fighting me and I had the biggest army uh, by far nobody's even close I guess poopy man was somewhat close but he had the second biggest army so yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up here for today's video with the epic club levy defense let's see who got the most 348 I think is the highest 348 kills amazing so Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, fun little video. I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.